Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to use font dialog control in our Qt QML application and how to apply the selected font properties on our Qt QML control. So let's start. First of all, import the Qt Qt control 2.15. Now import the Qt Qt dialog. Now let's create the font dialog. Assign the ID. Okay. Now let's create the one accept event. And now let's print the some details here. Let's print the weight. So my font dialog dot font dot weight also print the bold property and other properties is bold or not also print the italic property Also print the strikeout property. Also print the underline property. Okay, now let's print the font property, font family property. Let's print the size. Okay, now try to apply all those property in our button control. So now let's create the one button control and open this font dialog and also set the selected font font property on our button control. So now let's create uh, use the ID and assign the uh, name. Now here we set the uh, some text. Click me. Now let's create uh, set the uh, font. So font dialog dot font. Okay. Now let's uh, create the click event to open the font dialog. So simple just my font dialog dot open now let's run the application and check it now let's select the uh, aerial property select the bold and let's select the uh, size 36 and tick mark all those styles and now click on ok so you can see the uh, font properties also applied on button control and you can see the here the properties which is are printed in log so you can see the we select the bold italic strikeout and underline and font family is Arial and font size is 36. Now let's change the 48 and here we select the uh, this one and now let's untick the strikeout overline and underline. So you can see the values which we select from the font dialog control. So by this way you can easily use the uh, font dialog control in your our, in our Qt QML application and use its property and apply on the Qt QML controls. So please like this video and share this video with your friends and please drop your comment if you have any question and subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video. Thank you.